Hey what's up guys Wicked Android HD here and as always tonight I'm gonna be showing you a beautiful ROM made by Albies95 Albi95 ROM version 4.6 which I will show you right away okay so it's based on Android version 5.1.1 TouchWiz and it's a Galaxy S6 port so I'll be 95 axis axis for port uh, 4.6 running of course Aurora ROM kernel and uh, currently I'm using OH2 modem but it's not such a big deal breaker so it's a Galaxy S6 port what do we know for ports and from all I've told you in previous a video when I was talking about ports that they are not so stable so smooth so fast uh, right away I will talk I will discuss some topics starting from uh, the design of this ROM going through of course <clears throat> performance part the battery life and of course I will mention all, all the pros and all the cons of this ROM so starting up with the design since it is a Galaxy S6 port, it benefits of Teams Manager. And Teams Manager, from, uh, since it was released on the Galaxy S6, uh, has the ability of modifying the entire user interface, starting from the icons, which was also uh, available on the Galaxy S5, but starting also with the entire user interface, talking about calls, talking about uh, modifying these tools here, uh, modifying apps, good, Samsung apps, and I will present you this feature right away. So if we browse into themes, I have installed a couple of themes, the black, the matte black and the BMW i8 theme since I'm a car fan. And uh, I'll start with the matte black to show you what I'm talking about and what are the pros of uh, having this kind of uh, feature. So talking about mod, mod black, this is how it looks like. So new font, uh, new new icons, really good. Gives you a more minimalistic look, like dark dark toggles, dark everything. So if we browse to different tabs like settings, you will see you'll notice that it's, I think it's transparent. The wallpaper, the background is transparent. And uh, if we browse into a phone app, for example, it's the same. So it gives you a more darker image. So if we're talking about another theme, like uh, I'll show you the theme, uh, BMW theme, i8. If, if we apply this theme, the display will look even brighter. Uh, Pro you all know that i will tell you a story you all know that uh, having a lollipop romp, lollipop female doesn't matter uh, what you're talking about if it is a female or a rom or custom rom or stock rom or aosp or cm well if you have a lollipop you will already know that they have google and other developers uh, who invented the lollipop uh, tend to have a more brighter colors so white uh, light green light blue light everything so this is kind of a big I don't know how to say it mm. this will lead into less battery life since AMOLED screens like I do have on the Galaxy S4 it's less battery if uh, scans, runs, shows a more darker image. So brighter image results will result in having a less battery life. So if you're having a theme like this, you would you would most likely have a you most likely have less battery range than it would uh, that than it uh, would while you browse every feature of this ROM by running a dark one. I'll get back into the default one which I saw that it is has the Galaxy Note 5 image pack, icon pack. So applying team please wait. 
meanwhile while theme is applying i hope it won't get stuck on two percent i have no i have to tell you i haven't experienced uh, any kind of false closes in now and i don't think i will no as you may see okay first false close is normal since we changed the well, the theme back now wallpaper is gone that's because of the fact that i have uh, um, set up a new theme and it happens from time to time since support it's normal to happen so I will fast reboot I was talking about the force closes now I got the first one I hope I won't get anything any force close related to any other feature uh, from the changelog I saw that they fixed the GPS on reboot now you have uh, they the Albi sorry developer fixed the the YouTube lag and it also works along with the theme manager so you don't have to choose between the cheat theme manager or the the youtube application so you may, see, you may see the led blinking up right there in the corner that means it's loading up and when it disappears you will be ready to browse so use you've seen the custom reboot manager reboot to yeah reboot manager we have some particles effect while unlocking the device i set up my because I like them most. Um, any other thing? So I was talking about the design. I would give it a strong nine out of ten. So strong nine. It uh, it will be fair to have a strong nine because it's highly customizable. But it's not that customizable as an, an ASP ROM, a CM12 ROM, where you could set up the clock in the center and so on. You can install uh, Expose module. You have tons of links into the official XDA thread by the way I will post it right down in the description as I do always do as I always do um, so 9 of nine out of 10 it's a pretty fair rank for the design part speaking about performance as you may see and I'll open up some apps in order to show you how fast and smooth it is uh, messages um, let's see music okay calculator um clock uh, yeah that's pretty much it so i will show you because i told you that i will i would uh, show you i will show you the um, pros and the cons of this rom uh, first of all i will begin with i will begin with the cons and that uh, summarizes all the lags that you will uh, experience by having this port first of all is the recent tab panel lag so take a look it takes hell of a lot of time to get into this into this uh, menu not once as you may see take a look i'll show you yeah you saw that so lag lag it's the usual lag um I also noticed the lag in the notification bar it seems to be pretty fluid now so it may have fixed it may have had to build up cache um, there is some lag while sit switching back and forth between apps so calculator I pray that I want to go to the music part and right now it's working perfectly fine but after you open up some apps you would find it that your ROM is almost full and uh, you will have some uh, opportunities you won't have some opportunities to open up uh, fast some apps that you really need quick um what else Oops. the smoothness is where it should be house level um take in mind that since it is a galaxy s6 port it will run perfectly on the Galaxy S6, but the Galaxy S4 doesn't have the same hardware as the Galaxy S6, so it is normal to have lags and, um, you know, this kind of sluggish um, look. But Albis has done a great job porting this, uh, this application, this ROM, sorry. Well, let's take a look on how it looks on the, if I, we dial a number, for example, 415, take a look. 415 and let's see how notification 
looks like on the lock screen when we receive a message take a look ambient display beautiful so ambient display is working perfectly great info and if we let the phone like this in order to shut off the screen you'll be able to see again I think the ambient display but I don't think yep I think it has to pass well, a couple of seconds before we can see it again so it's working so the messages application looks like what didn't press it right so yeah this is the messaging application what else you can customize the kernel settings by installing different apps from uh, Google Play Store I would recommend the kernel editor um, yeah that I think that that's pretty much it that's pretty much it um, of course this ROM benefits of edge screen I port it up again so you can add sorry you can add uh, what contact you want okay you can add what applications you want so for example if you want to uh, easily open up a camera app or take a look at the clock uh, set up an alarm or so on um, you dig into phone app if you're in if, if you're for example if you're calculating something and you scroll down and want to call something just like that yep um what else so a screen I told you fl floating messages on transparency floating messages and notification lock screen preview yep I'm kind of running out of battery on my DSLR so I'll have to end up this video I hope you like it if you like it please make sure you thumbs up for the heart on the background and for the review itself Make sure to subscribe right now to my channel Wicked Android HD. By doing that, of course, you'll be again updated with the latest Android news every and ROMs and customs and updates every single time. I'll do reviews as soon as possible. Let's hope we'll get Android M on CM13, I think. Yeah. So thank you for watching guys. Wicked Android is out. Bye bye.